Which do you prefer? A dog who avoids your eye contact when you approach him? Who tucks his tail between his legs? Rolls over belly up and cowers? Or worse yet, pees all over himself out of fear? Or do you prefer a confident dog? who sits up proudly, wags his tail, and greets you with bright, happy eyes. I hope by the end of this video, I can give you a couple tips how to teach your sweetie pie to be more confident around people and less likely to show these signs of submission. Hi guys, welcome back to Sweetie Pie Pets. Dogs live in groups and are always trying to work out and maintain social order among their group members. In larger groups, which we call packs, there's a dominant alpha male and an alpha female. And then there's a beta member who helps enforce the social order. And then there's everyone else, which we place in the omega group. So the omega group shows submission using certain traits. They assume a belly up posture, they avoid eye contact, tuck in their tails, and they may even pee on themselves. We don't want that. Submission urination is thought to occur as a defense mechanism to avoid conflict. It's a way to show they will not confront the leaders of their pack. But nobody really wants to have this behavior in a family pet. So how do you eliminate this unwanted behavior? Well, here's a few tips. Don't approach a passive dog too aggressively. For example, don't stride over to your dog and reach out for him. Allow him to come part way to you. Let him sniff your outstretched hand and use side-eyed glances. Direct eye contact with a dog will be taken as a challenge, and an overly timid dog will respond with these unwanted, submissive behaviors. Teach them some simple commands such as sit, or simply to follow your hand, and reward them for that. This will build confidence in your sweetie pie, and they are pleasing you and getting rewarded for it. And you can watch my video here for more information teaching your sweetie pie how to sit. Place a few of his favorite treats out in front of him and let him approach you by getting the small treats. Then he'll be the one to approach you and be rewarded for it. Avoid loud sounds. A timid dog will respond to loud sounds by cowering and being fearful. Don't reach out for the top of the head. Your sweetie pie will more likely respond better if you reach out and try to pet him from under with the palm up. This will also show that your hand is not a threat, and instead that your hand is a reward and sometimes carries treats. Have potty routines too. He should have a place to go potty, whether it's an indoor potty area or outside. And if he does pee on himself, never scold or yell at him. That will just do the opposite of what you're trying to achieve. My first rule with my sweetie pies is to emphasize socialization, and this starts early. Timidity, as well as dominance, needs to be minimized as much as possible. We really want our sweetie pies to be happy, confident companions in our home. If you found my video helpful, please like and subscribe. And follow me on Instagram at Kelly Swift Sweetie Pie Pets. And on TikTok at Sweetie Pie Pets. Thanks so much for watching everyone and we will see you next time on Sweetie Pie Pets. Bye-bye.